Metamask is a free to use browser extension and smartphone app that allows you to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. On Metamask, you can send and receive coins from your cryptocurrency wallet and use any of the vast array of decentralized apps built on the Ethereum blockchain. Hey guys, James here, and in this video, I'll show you how to download, install, set up, and use the Metamask browser extension. All of these sections of this video are listed as timestamps in the description box for you, alongside some other helpful resources. So make sure to have a look if you need more information. If you come to the Metamask website, you can see the support that Metamask has. You can use it on Chrome, Firefox, Brave, and Edge browsers. Sorry, Safari users, no support for Safari as yet. There is an iPhone app though, as well as an Android app as well. We're gonna come straight to downloading Metamask though. So for Chrome, which I'm using, you can just click install Metamask. It's then gonna take you through to the Chrome store and you just have to click add to Chrome, download it, add the extension, and then you can get started. When it is downloaded, you'll see the option to either import an existing wallet or to set up a new Metamask wallet. If you already have a wallet and have the seed phrase, just click on import wallet, put that password in, and then it will upload your wallet. But let's click on add a new wallet and we'll create that right now. I agreed to send some data to Metamask. It's not gonna reveal my identity or anything, but they can use it to make the service better. Then you have to create a password. This is a Metamask password. This isn't the recovery phrase or the private keys for your wallet. This is a secondary Metamask password that you can use. So create that password for your Metamask account. Then when you have that, it will take you through to the security phrase screen. And this is the recovery phrase for your wallet. On the next screen, you'll just have to confirm the recovery phrase so that Metamask know that you wrote it down properly. And once that has been input, it will let you into MetaMask. We can see also that MetaMask has made some upgrades to token swapping. MetaMask now uses a list of decentralized exchanges, including Uniswap, Total, One Inch Exchange, and even some professional market makers. It's a really good upgrade, and I'll get onto all the benefits of this later on in the tutorial in the section about swapping tokens. Once everything is set up, your dashboard should look something like this. And you can actually go to the settings up here, go to info and help, and then you can see your MetaMask version. Obviously they're making updates all of the time. And there are some good updates that MetaMask have made recently that I'll get onto in a little bit, but let's just come to the settings and get everything set up first. So we'll come down to settings. Now you can change your currency conversion here. So put that to your currency. And down here, you can choose the primary currency. This is how all of the holdings in your MetaMask wallet are valued. At the moment, it's set to Ethereum. I'm gonna change this over to Fiat. So all of the holdings that I have will be given to me in a value in US dollars, and that's just easier for me to understand. You can choose the current language as well, and there's actually quite good language support in MetaMask. So it definitely can be used by many people. And as we come over to Advanced, we have some state logs. You can download those if you wish. You can also reset the account to get rid of all of your transaction history if that's something that you might wanna do. There are also some other controls, including advanced gas controls. I'll cover them in the section later on in the video. As we come back to the main page though, you can always get to that by clicking the icon, by the way. We'll just come over to these three dots on the right-hand side, and then we'll look at our account details. What comes up is your Ethereum address on your MetaMask. So if you ever want anyone to send you some Ethereum-based tokens, some ERC20 tokens to your MetaMask account, they can scan this QR code with their smartphone if they have a wallet app on there, or you can copy this address and then paste it into those other services so you can send this account some tokens. You can also rename your account here. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna put James's wallet. That's good for me, I'll just click tick there and then just off. And then now my wallet is a little bit more personal. The next thing that you might want to do is set up some contacts. And this is really important if you want to send some cryptocurrency to other accounts. You can come down to settings again and then come over to contacts. As you can read here, all of your MetaMask created accounts will be automatically added to this section, but you can go and create other ones as well. The reason that you'd wanna do this is because Ethereum addresses or any cryptocurrency address is an extremely complex list of letters and numbers. And obviously it's very easy to get this wrong. 
if for some reason you copy and paste in the wrong way or anything like that, it's going to be an error and potentially you could lose tokens by doing this. So what you can do is set up a simple username and then attach an address to this. So if you have a friend called Bob, you could put Bob in here, attach his Ethereum public address right here and then click save. Next time you want to send some funds over to that specific account, just click on Bob and that will be sent over to the account without any worries. That's it for the settings though. So why don't we move on to adding token support in MetaMask and you can do this quite easily by coming down to add token. You get Ethereum support as standard, of course, because it is an Ethereum based wallet. But if you want to add support for other tokens, simply come to add token and then search for the token either by using the token address or the name. I'm just gonna type in a ticker right here, which is Arva or Arve. This is an Ethereum based token and you can add this very easily. Why MetaMask is a little bit different is that it is a decentralized platform. And it's important to know that different tokens can actually be given the same name and even the same token icon. This is important to know because you could get scammed and actually be buying or sending a token that you think is other, but it actually isn't. In any case, MetaMask does scan some reputable sites to make sure that these tokens are legitimate. So let's go and add this one by clicking here. We can go through to the next option and then you can just add the token right here onto the MetaMask and you have the token. We can go back to my wallet and you can see support now for Ethereum and this second token. Next up, let's come to buying some cryptocurrencies on MetaMask and MetaMask do actually link up with some third party service providers that allow you to do this. The way that you can buy and deposit some Ethereum tokens onto your MetaMask is using Wire. So if we just continue to Wire and see some of the options here, Wire is a third party and is not MetaMask. It's just providing a service here for MetaMask users. They do have their own fee structure as well, which is 0.75% for purchases or a flat fee, whichever is higher. You can simply enter the amount that you want to purchase right here and it will show you how many Ethereum that you can purchase. You can choose your currency that you want to pay in right here and the token, obviously Ethereum, that it's being changed into. This is the address of your MetaMask wallet right here and you do have to use a debit card for this. Now we can see some of the exchange rates and the transaction fee overall. You can see not just the transaction fee, but also the network fee. So they'll actually be using the Ethereum network to send those coins to you. So you have to keep all of these fees in mind. $30 for a fee is very expensive compared to some other centralized exchanges like Binance or even Coinbase. The network fee itself, of course, is out of the control of MetaMask or even Wire. This is a network fee on the Ethereum network. So if you were to go ahead and purchase some Ethereum in a lower cost trading account like Binance, you would have to pay those network fees anyway. But you can see the network fees are making this transaction incredibly expensive. So it is an option for us, but maybe uh, one that is too expensive for right now. Another third party service that MetaMask does provide though is trading or swapping of Ethereum based tokens. And they've actually upgraded this recently and I think they've done a really good job. So let's come to swap and we can actually swap one Ethereum based token for another. After the recent upgrades, MetaMask will now plug into some of the most popular decentralized exchanges that run on the Ethereum network. Remember at the start, we saw that flyer detailing the upgrades that they've made. Well, now MetaMask will look at all the different DEXs or decentralized exchanges and get you the best possible price for your swap. And exchanges used include Uniswap, OneInch, and some other popular decentralized exchanges. For a lot of people, I do believe centralized exchanges offer a lot of benefits, including low fees and extra features. But if you want to trade anonymously, then MetaMask will be a better option for that. And what's nice is that you don't even have to go over to something like Uniswap, link your wallet with Uniswap, and then go ahead and swap tokens. You can do that right now within MetaMask, so it makes it so much easier for you. If you want to swap then, just simply choose the tokens that you want to swap. So let's put in one Ethereum token right here, and then we can choose the swap to token. So this is the Ethereum token that we'll be selling. And then obviously to swap one token into another, we'll be buying this token or swapping into this token. So let's just choose Uniswap as an example. So we could be giving over one Ethereum based token and then getting how many ever Uniswap tokens that that is worth. You can also read down here that MetaMask are verifying the validity of this token, verified on six sources. 
Like I said before, scam tokens could actually have the same name as an original token that you might want to swap into. So it's good that MetaMask verifies that this is a proper original token verified on six sources so that we know that we're actually buying the real thing. As we come down to advanced options right here, you can set a slippage tolerance. This is important because we are not using a centralized exchange to buy and sell a cryptocurrency with another person. We are actually using decentralized liquidity pools. And what that means is we're using the Ethereum network to go ahead and swap a couple of tokens. And every time that you use the Ethereum network, you're gonna to have to pay fees for the network and you need to make sure that your transaction is gonna go ahead. In normal times, a slippage tolerance of 2% should be plenty, unless you really need to get something done as fast as possible, or you're trading very large amounts, you might wanna to go to custom and bump it up to maybe three, four, or even 5%. But for most people and most transactions, 2% is going to be plenty. We can then come down to review swap and you can see that MetaMask will go ahead and scan all of the best decentralized exchanges to get us the best price. So let's click on review swap and you can see one inch total exchange and a few other exchanges are all going through this process and MetaMask will find the best swap price for us right now. New quotes will be given to us in around 35 seconds, but you can see now that our one Ethereum token could be swapped into 68.13 Uniswap tokens. And then down here, you will see the estimated network fee for this transaction and the possible max network fee that you may be charged overall. So Ethereum network fees are outrageous at the moment, but this is nothing that MetaMask has control over. We can also see the fee that MetaMask charges, which is 0.875%. Just to keep you in the clear here, Uniswap charges 0.3%. So MetaMask are charging us a little bit on top for the ease of use of checking all of those different exchanges and trying to get us the best price. If you're happy with that swap though, simply go ahead and press swap and that will be done for you. And then Ethereum from your account will be swapped out and you'll get some, in this case, Uniswap tokens back into your MetaMask wallet. Next up, we're going to connect some external wallets into MetaMask. I'll put a link to the Trezor hardware wallet homepage if you are considering one of those. They allow you to keep all of your private keys offline, increasing security of your cryptocurrency holdings. And you can click that link to find out if one of their offerings might be for you. We can come up to the settings up here then, and we're going to connect a hardware wallet through this option. And as of making this video, you can link up your ledger or Trezor and you get some good instructions on how to do this as well. Firstly, you have to connect your hardware wallet to your computer via the USB port, and then you have to select the account that you want to match up with your MetaMask wallet. Having done this before, what you will have to do is go through a couple of screens where you just allow MetaMask access into some of the public keys and other options with your Trezor wallet. Once the Trezor wallet is plugged in, it should be an easy process. This screen also gives you other options to connect other wallets though. So you can actually import other wallets that you may have. Simply enter the details of the wallet in here and import it. It will actually import it into a new account in your MetaMask and you can have multiple accounts in MetaMask. If you click on these settings up here, we named account one James's wallet, but you can create new accounts and import new wallets and have many different accounts within your MetaMask and use the same login password into your MetaMask to gain access to multiple wallets within this. If you don't have an existing wallet that you want to import, but you do want to create a new wallet for some reason, come to create, name the account, and it will create a completely new account for you. Once you have all your accounts and wallets set up though, we can deposit uh, cryptocurrencies into your wallets quite easily. Anytime you want to deposit anything into a MetaMask wallet, make sure that the correct account and wallet is selected right here. Click on your account details, and this is the information that the sender will need. If you want to send cryptocurrencies from your MetaMask though, click on send and then enter the address of the wallet in the add recipient field. You can actually also choose a speed for the transaction, which is a really good option in MetaMask. So you can choose between slow, average and fast. And obviously the faster you want a transaction done, the more you're gonna have to pay. You can gain further control of your gas prices by coming up to the settings. So we'll come to settings right here and then we'll come to advanced. Like I said at the start, we have some advanced gas controls and you can come and turn these on. A gas limit is the maximum amount of gas that you are willing to spend for the transaction. And the gas price in MetaMask, this is the max amount 
you are willing to pay per unit of gas. Gas prices are measured in guay. Guay is just the smallest unit of Ethereum. You can think of guay a little bit like having a penny in the dollar. But MetaMask actually populates this for you most of the time based on typical values that you would be expected to pay given the size of your transaction. You can also change the gas fees manually though to whatever you choose based on how fast you want your transaction to be processed. MetaMask actually advises using the website uh, Ethereum Gas Station for this to give you a ballpark of what you should be spending. So we can actually come over to that website right now and you have three options here. First is Trader. This is the fastest transaction. So you can see ASAP. So you're gonna to have to pay more in Guay. Then Fast is a little bit cheaper and then Standard is the cheapest. You can also double check this on a different website called Etherscan and the Ethereum gas tracker on this website. And you can see that the low is 209, which is actually a little bit cheaper than Ethereum gas station. So you can have a look at these prices if you want to put the amount of Guay in and actually change it manually yourself when you're going through a transaction. Another neat feature of MetaMask is the ability to speed up or even cancel a transaction after you have submitted it, but obviously before it has been sent. You can actually come down to the option that looks like this and then just press this icon cancel. You can also go over to the second option, which is speed up. And by pressing this option, you can actually choose the speed options. So you may have to pay a little bit more in gas fees if you want to cancel the transaction or speed it up. So just keep that in mind overall, but it's nice to have those options just in case you wanna do something with the transaction after you've gone through and pressed okay. If you need any more help with MetaMask, including how to link MetaMask with various mobile or hardware wallets, do check out the MetaMask playlist on the channel. I'll link some other helpful videos in the description box for you as well. Do hit the like button if you found value in this video. Subscribe for way more helpful cryptocurrency content and I'll see you in the next one.